the tasty oh, song guys. for you. I'm right here. Ah! Hey, what's up guys? We're here with another Mind Showcase. With special guest star Jojo the Miner. And today's mod is the... Dimensional Doors mod. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So it's a really awesome mod because what it does is it adds in a whole bunch of doors that bring you to different dimensions yeah so in case you couldn't tell by the name you've got all this basic stuff in here and you can craft everything here except for world thread and this ancient fabric fabric of reality eternal fabric and unraveled fabric yeah world thread you have to find in chests of the dimensional dungeons or just really any like through like a rift because uh, there are rifts in this, rifts yes. in the time-space continuum, and what you see in front of me is not actually a man-made or a Minecraft man-made structure. It is naturally generated in the world, except for the door. But the the, the portal itself is still here. Uh, but before we enter the portal, which will bring us to a dimensional dungeon, uh, I'm gonna quickly go through and show you all the crafting recipes. Yeah. So do we have some uh, stuff here. We have the Rift Signature, which as it says in the description there, first click stores a location, the second click creates a pair of rifts linking the two locations. Uh, and it can be crafted with four iron ingots and a stable fabric. We have a stabilized Rift Signature, which first click stores a location, other clicks create rifts linking the first and last locations together. So this is like a super advanced Rift Signature. And it what? is crafted with four stable fabric and a Rift Signature. Um... Okay. Next we have the Rift Blade, which opens temporary doors on rifts, rifts and has a teleport attack. It's crafted with a blaze rod and two stable fabrics, and I I really haven't really ma uh, mastered this stuff, but um, I haven't done too, too much testing with it. But right here we have the Rift Remover, which, um, as it says in the description there, use near exposed rift to, to remove it and any nearby rifts. So that obviously removes rifts. I can create, like, in case you don't know, I can create a rift by, like, destroying a door like this. Yeah, so the rift remover, you just click on it, removes yep. the rift. Gets, uh, gets rid of those. And so it's create, craft, uh, crafted with eight gold ingots and a stable fabric. Mm -hmm. And we have some doors which lead to the different dimensions. The, for, this one is the unstable door, which has two dimensional doors and an eye vendor. The unstable door actually, um... Just teleports you to a random, random location. location in the world. Completely Seriously. random location. Oh. And if we actually use this rift signature, why don't we destroy you, destroy you, and see how this works out? Because I've not actually used this before. So. Yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. How does this? How do you work? You just. How did this, I don't understand how Rift Signature works, so... Um... Um, I don't know. I thought you were talking about the, uh, random doors. No, the, uh, Rift Signature. I, I, don't really under, I don't really understand how that works. But, you know, you um, can, you, you can... Figure that out. Yeah, find it somewhere. Um, next we have the Golden Dimensional Door, which is just a... Dimensional door? Golden... Dimensional door, and that's crafted with two stable fabric and a golden door because it just does add in golden doors. So you got six golden doors. ingots to yeah. create a golden door. Next over here we have uh, the transdimensional trap door, which is two trap doors and a stable fabric. And a stable fabric, if you guys were wondering, is crafted with eight world thread and an ender pearl. True story. And we have two more doors here. We have the warp door and the dimensional door. The warp door is crafted with two wooden doors and a stable fabric, and the dimensional door, two iron doors and a stable fabric. Mm -hmm. So the warp door, That's right. I guess, oh, no. doesn't really, you can't, when you place it down, I don't think it really does anything. Um, I don't know, it's, it's not, it's not doing anything for me. When I try, when I walk into it, it like, You can use them out. to escape from, uh, dimensional dungeons. Pretty, you be pretty stuck. much, pretty much, yeah. So that's what those are for. Then, uh, we've got the... This dimensional door here. I'm actually gonna set my spawn point here. 
which will bring you into a pocket dimension, just like this uh, golden dimensional door. Both of these will bring you into a pocket dimension, and no deer. Yep. So you can build bigger on the inside structures, so like oh, your yeah. Time Lord. Pretty sweet. And Best then we ever have, uh, then we have the trans dimensional trapdoor, which, um, I don't know. It doesn't, quite it doesn't seem to work. How to use that. It's closing on me. You wanna let me through? Let me through. Let me through the portal. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem to work. I'll try testing it in this. Ah, I'm glitched. But yeah. So if we go through either of these, it Don't shall bring out. us into a pocket dimension which looks exactly like this. It's it's just dark. And you can't actually walk on this. I'm not flying. This is fabric of reality and I'm apparently lagged because I just came with S and it's not responding. So I don't know. But these are made out of uh, fabric of reality and another thing like I believe um, I don't know. I think eternal fabric. Um, you can see that down there. Eternal fabric, yeah. So that that's pretty cool. And if we exit, then it just brings back to the overworld. And same with this one. Just you know, nothing, nothing too major or anything. And yeah. And then we have the uh, the bench, the um, dimensional door. Oh wait, no. Sorry, I deleted the wrong door because they look the same. Unstable door. That's what I. Oh, what the? What have you done? I don't know. Uh oh. Um. Rift. Well, remove her. The rift is currently spreading. Ah. Spreading oh, too quickly. Gosh. Ooh, that's a that was a big rift. I don't know what, what I did, did you wrong. Do yet. to create. I don't know. Oh my. But then we have the gosh. unstable door. Which when you enter it. Teleports you to a random location, mm -hmm. which just happens to be somewhere random. And we got this wooden dimensional door here, so why don't we? <gasps> Hooray! So here we are in a dimensional uh, dungeon stronghold, or whatever you want to call it. So these are um, where you go with a wooden door, like a um, wooden warp door, like the warp. I don't even know what I'm saying. With the warp door. Which, mm -hmm. and or like from that little structure that was spawned at the beginning. So when you enter here, you can enter a dungeon, a dimensional dungeon, which is, well, a dungeon in the other dimension. So, it is really quite awesome. I don't know why I'm just doing this. It's like, I'm bugging out a bit. Yeah. But, so, as you can see, this is like really weird and stuff. And... I have now entered into a different location, and there are tons and tons of traps in here. I think Jojo has already been through this one, uh, through this entire dungeon. So, uh, I believe so. So everything is gonna be, you know, all shredded. Yeah, all gone. So as you oh. see, this traps already been set, and those those little uh, red things out there. Oh my goodness, what is that sound? That's those, the sound of the, uh... Ah! Ah! Those guys. Those guys are like the evil. guys that look like rip, like lips. Yeah, I don't know why they look like that, but... You know, they are evil. And why don't we teleport to Jojo? See if we can. What? Oh, he's right there. He's right, he's at the, uh, location of life, so... Um... Jojo... Jack Come on! Don't you lag for me, Minecraft! Don't you dare be lagging for me! Uh, Alright, so we're gonna enter from here and explore a bit more of the dimensional dungeon from otherwise, and then there's actually an entirely new dimension to show you. Oh gosh. So, as you can see, here we go. <laughs> there's a trap right there. You see the tripwire? It wants to murder you. These traps are very creative, though. They're fantastic. They truly I are. I love them. Okay, so this area has brought me into one of two choices. And I am like, oh, the lip creatures. They're called Those monoliths. Are the, oh, yeah. Monoliths. Oh, dear. Oh. Freak. 
come I'm not not doing anything? I'm like, see, so this is a, like one of the types of traps, you know. There we go. If you're in survival, you'd be screwed. Boom. Bam! Blows you entirely up. And everything else too, so you might be stuck here for a while, but you know. Speaking of survival, there is a dangerous dangerous thing that can happen should you die in the pocket dimension. Yes. So I I think I think you get the gist of what the um of what the dimensional dungeon is. Very, very cool. Very you can find chests with awesome loot in it, like um like, you know, Diamonds. The diamonds, yeah, the diamonds. But actually, we are going to now turn into survival and show you what happens if you die in it's pretty bad. this place. Okay, why aren't the monoliths after me? Come on. They're supposed to go after you if they can see you, but I guess they can't see me. So, let me try to get closer to them. Come here, monoliths. Come on. I know you want to eat me. Ooh, here's the door. Got a tasty song for you. I'm right here. Baby. Ah! Baby. And so now this is what would happen if you died. Ah! What the f <sighs> This is what happens if you die in a dimensional place. Ooh, that's in the sky. They're everywhere. Sort of. Yep, they're everywhere. Oh my goodness, these guys are creepy. So pretty much what happens is you get stuck in this place, which is called Limbo. It is an entirely different dimension. Hear that creepy music? That is to signify how dangerous and horrible this place is. Now, if you die in a pocket dimension, you will keep your inventory. However, you will be stuck in Limbo until find your way out. There's only two ways of doing that, because you cannot place doors in this, oh, by the way, you don't take fall damage in this place. Um, you either have to find a low point in a limbo, and that's uh, can, that's made out of um, the fabric and stuff, and can I kill you? Oh, I'm getting critical hits that do nothing. Um, let me get myself a sword, I want to see what happens. Let's see. Oh, what's this dinner? Oh my goodness, he just teleported me back up. Something tells me you didn't make them happy. No, I didn't. I upset them. But, so you don't take fall damage in this and you gotta find like a low point in limbo or another one of those little places uh, that like have the dimension, like the warp door to be able to get back. Yep. Now or be warned. Can... You can step out in some special fabric of reality that will teleport you to a random place in the world. Which is right here, for example. Um, but Me? Yeah. It spawned me in the middle of the ocean. Oh wait, no, it isn't right here. Where, it, where are you? You're a little patch of... I am the in fabric. the middle of unraveled the ocean. Fabric. I'm talking about unraveled fabric. Not unraveled fabric. I don't know. The darker one. But listen to the creepy music. It signifies your death. Story. You don't, you don't want to, because this place is like, it is like, the, 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 oh, I lost the connection, um, okay, I don't know, it's really weird, and such, and, if I can find a little place, I'd be able to escape, I'm probably, I'll, I'll just change it to creative, fly around to be able to find it, so as it can be done quicker, but, Hopefully I can Limbo is dangerous. I Limbo think is you get the very idea. Dangerous because as soon as you come back out, you spawn in a random place and such. And once again, yeah. listen to that creepy, creepy music. Yeah, you spawn on unraveled. Uh, oh, fabric. I'm all the way back here. Yeah. Back in the sky. Yeah. Oh, look here. Yeah. So. So as I was saying, you also. Your weekend? So, as I was saying, you also anyway. cannot put doors down in this place. You can't escape via doors. And I'm pretty sure beds explode in there. Possibly. I don't know. I know they explode in the pocket, but it's... 
They do! Yeah. Oh, stone. Uh, oh, Rift Blade is pretty good. Plus 7 attack damage. So yeah, kids, always be careful mm -hmm. when playing with uh, dimensions. Yeah. They um, mess you up. But, this has been the uh, Dimension of the Doors mod. Link in the description if you'd like to download. <gasps> I'm saying send it back home. And I, don't, I just sort of slurred my sentence and such. I don't Let me know see if you said. spawn the same place I did. Um, I spawned near it in like a plains and snow area place. Oh, I spawned in the middle of the ocean. But yeah, so if you guys enjoyed it, like and or subscribe is greatly appreciated, whichever you feel necessary. And hope you guys go download this mod. You really should. It is a fantastic it's mod. It's amazing. I love Do it. it. Now you download it. It's a ton of fun, and it won't let me delete my inventory. But anyways, guys. Uh, so Merc Man Four, over and out. Yeah, uh, yeah. Signing off. Yeah. See you guys later.